All right, when we last left off, I was going to do something awesome in my shop, but uh, instead, <laughs> instead I just cracked an egg in my pocket and had supper and then never went back out to the shop. So if you watched the last vlog, you know that we've taken away beam golf and we want to replace it with something, something new, something that won't be in the way. Beam golf was awesome, but it was cumbersome. It was in the way and I needed the beam for uh, another project. So took that away. Well, I had a night to, I had a night to think about it. And I think I've thought of something. I remember right here, we have some paint here. I thought, I like the golf element of the game, so why not keep that, and so that nothing's in the way, we'll just make a, uh, a little putting green. In that case, the that little pebble or whatever it was helped me, but you know, it can go the exact opposite as well. We'll probably add more of these in the future. I'm not sure where. For now, this is good. Uh, also, it took forever to chisel out that uh, 
little hole there. I even had to go Shawshank on it and hand chisel it out, but it turned out good. I like it. Okay, now that this is done and the temperature is dropping, we got Ashley here. We are going to get the chickens into their new, uh, new temporary little coop here. Now, what temperature is it right now? About 27? I can tell you. She can tell me. So while I was goofing off in there, Ashley <laughs> shoveled our entire driveway. And our driveway is freaking big, by the way. It's like, I don't know, 200 feet long plus this big parking pad. I don't know why she did that, but. It's minus 24 right now. Minus 24. Okay, so it's not that cold, although I feel pretty cold, but it's supposed to get to minus 40 something tonight. So we'll bring them in. It's uh, still light out, but they are likely just about to go roost for the night because it's about that time. Uh, let's see where they're at. When they're roosting, it's very easy to grab them because they're kind of just chill. So we'll see what they're up to. Oh yeah, there they are. They're all Hi, chilling here. Nugget. Oh, Nugget is... So, Nugget's the only bird who had decided polar vortex was a great time to hatch eggs. And she's not going to be able to hatch anything because they're fake. Oh, is that a real one? This is real. This is Minnie. Oh, Minnie. Minnie. Nice. Yeah, she's probably trying to hatch a golf ball, do you think? Yeah, she is. <laughs> So, uh, we don't have any roosters, so they will never have any fertilized eggs. But for whatever reason, this girl here, aren't cochins susceptible to going into brooding? I think so. Or what? I don't know. Yeah, I, yeah so she's a cochin, and then her, her sister here, her pair, is also a cochin, but she's full size, obviously. So, um, let's see if I can do this with one hand. These will be the first two chickens that we bring in. Now, uh,. I just uploaded the video yesterday of us getting that thing ready just for context of, of uh, timeline here. Uh, I got some questions. I got some questions about the uh, heat. Like, why don't we put a heat lamp in the, uh, in the coop? Wouldn't that help? It probably would help. Uh, but one thing about heat lamps is they explode and there's other issues when it comes to dust and stuff and they oftentimes burn down people's coops. In fact, we were just reading a couple days ago on the uh, on the chicken Facebook page there, a couple people lost their coops to uh, heat lamp uh, accidents and we don't want that to happen. Uh, so what we do is, uh, there, let's go in there. <sighs> Okay, put Nugget in there, see what she's like. I wonder how Nugget will uh, will uh, handle having that nest box there instead of uh, a nice uh, small one. I wonder if she will stay broody or not. Anyway, for uh, heat when it gets really cold, we have these radiant heaters. We have two of them. One goes here and then one goes underneath, although we haven't hooked that one up yet. Uh, it's just that they're not quite warm enough, actually not even close to warm enough for when we have polar vortex type type weather. Come here, buddy. Okay, lead the way there, Ginger. Woo, it's chilly. So it's not like they don't have any heat. They do have some heat. They just don't have uh, sufficient heat for the the very freezing cold. So cold that I'm taking two chickens at a time now. There you go, Phoebe. This is Plum. This is the one that laid that egg that I showed uh, yesterday in the bonus clip. Careful, Okay. And then Blue, good old Blue, number two on the second order. She's the oldest bird, I think. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
So if you uh, if you hold a chicken and they manage to get their wings out, they will flap the crap out of you. So you gotta just kind of hold them like this. That's hilarious. <laughs> then the last bird to come in, of course, is Henrietta. Well, not of course. There's no reason why we put her in last. She just happens to be the hardest to catch. So now they're all in. And they can all talk to Sunny, and Sunny can talk to them. Hopefully she's far enough away that her uh, respiratory uh, infection thing won't affect them. Uh, we were advised by one of you guys to maybe not have her uh, join the rest of the flock for quite a while because her chickens, did she say that she had chickens? Or someone was saying their chickens uh, had some issues yeah. with, uh, with the same sort of thing and she unfortunately lost a whole bunch of them because they kind of mask their, uh, their sickness. They, Ziz. yeah, they're <laughs> prey animals, they don't want to appear weak, so they mask their sickness. Okay. Whereas predators can get shot in the face like apex predators, like bears and wolves, and nothing happens to them. Do you think it's the same thing? They're like, ah, oh, I'm not weak either. Certainly not as weak as a prey animal. <laughs> they seem happy. Yeah, they're actually pretty chill. Sunny jumped down. Oh, she's pecking. That's good. It probably makes her happier being with them. Yeah, earlier today we had her, uh, we gave her some... Uh, pumpkin. Pumpkin, yeah. Sunny gets her own little special dessert. Let's see if she actually likes it. It's a bunch of pumpkin guts and a little spinach garnish, it looks like. Let's see. She might be a little nervous because we got little Chena here and me. Oh, there we go. You see how she like moves her head sideways like that? It's because one of her, oh no. <laughs> when, they, when they do that with their head, they have one near sight eye and one far sight eye. Well, she feels the same way about garnishes as I do. You toss that and then go for the meal. But then she's like, nope. <laughs> she's like, actually pumpkin is gross. And now that Sunny's had some food, it's time for these girls to get some food in their uh, little pen here as well. Make it as normal as possible to, for them. Uh, we did turn down the heat here in the shop to help with their, uh, their uh, internal climate control or whatever. It's still a lot warmer, of course, than it is outside on a regular winter day. So we're hoping that when we put them back out into the coop, uh, it'll be warm. Kind of like last year, we waited until it was like plus, I don't remember what, but it was above zero when we put them back out and then there was no issues with uh, their like getting triggered into molting or anything like that. So that was good. Hopefully the same luck uh, is with us this year. Okay, so it's been about half an hour. You can see it's uh, almost dark outside now. Uh, when we first started this, it was minus 24. Now, Ashley just checked the weather. It's minus 27, so it's dropped three degrees, and it's supposed to get down to minus 37, which is not quite minus 40, but that's still pretty cold. So if you uh, don't know what minus 40 Celsius is, it's the same as minus 40 Fahrenheit, uh, which is, I mean, I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't want to be outside. That's that's death. Um, cool thing about birds, um, I'm sure more than just chickens do this. When they, they get cold, their core temperature is, is pretty high. But when they get cold, they puff up their feathers so they're like a big fluffy ball. They trap air. Under yeah, the so their hot air coming from their hot bodies. Like, yeah. my hands are f still freaking freezing. If I were to hold them, it would feel like those electric mittens that you can get. They're very warm, so they like puff out their feathers, and then yeah, the the air gets trapped in there, and it keeps them warm. But you think about like wild birds, even tiny little chickadees, and they survive the winter somehow. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're like fist size, right? Yeah. yeah, they're tiny. Yeah. So 
Uh, they're not doing it in here, of course, because it's way too warm in here. Uh, but outside, they would be doing that right now. In fact, they were probably doing that when we went and grabbed them uh, before we disturbed them. Kind of a cool uh, survival tactic. Uh, but, of course, in these temperatures, there's the huge risk of frostbite and all sorts of uh, other cold-type maladies. Maladies? That's probably not the right word. Regardless of the term, it's safer to have them inside so they don't have to uh, contend with uh, frostbite and all that jazz. Wouldn't be good. Puffiness in the feathers does not protect their wattles or their combs uh, or their toes. So that's why they're inside. And since proper ventilation is pretty much key to their uh, health when it comes to frostbite or other maladies, uh, this is the safest. I feel like I'm beating a dead chicken here by re-explaining everything, but there's... There... <laughs> you like that? Yeah. Uh, their crap and their breath gives off a lot of moisture, and having that trapped inside the coop uh, would be uh, pretty bad for their for their combs and stuff. So we're not gonna, oh look at Nugget here, she's still broody. We're gonna have to snap her out of that. Uh, we're not gonna block off the ventilation to keep the cold out, that's what I was gonna say. Ours is well ventilated. Ours is very well ventilated, which mm -hmm. means that it also allows in cold. Yeah. So when the, when, when the chicken's body heat can't keep the coop warm, it can't contend with the, the coldness on the outside. Yeah, anyway. Right. Mm -hmm. Better with colder temperatures until it gets to polar vortex temperatures. Anyway, let's let uh, dead chickens lie. What's the expression? Dead horse lies? Dog. Dead dogs lie? Dead lions lie. Sleeping lions lie? <laughs> yeah, I don't think they're dead. Sleeping... Dead sleeping lions lie. Sleeping... I don't know. <laughs> lions eating dead horses, maybe? Okay, anyway, let's move on. I hope Sleeping that... Sleeping dogs lie. Sleeping dogs lie. I don't know. I thought it had to do with dogs. Maybe it has something to do with ducks. It's not ducks. Let... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, we're just going to move on from there. Uh, there's, uh, like I explained in yesterday's vlog, there's, a, there's tons of information about different things. And yeah, this is how we're doing it. Uh, if you look here, we have one, two, three, four, five birds on, on their, uh, little perch there. And then we got three still on the ground here. And there's probably room for just one more comfortably. Yeah, one or two because the, the coaching, yeah, I don't know. So what we're going to do is we're going to build another little perch here. Go ahead, I'll hold this. So that they each have a spot to kind of, uh rest on. Sorry, girls. Okay, now since it's past their bedtime, I guess we should turn off the lights and see if they all go to bed. <laughs> 